men's soccer team. We're joined by Matt and Felipe. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for having us. How are you guys doing today? Good, good. You look excited to be here. Yeah. <laughs> so the whole kind of entourage you brought with us. So uh, you know, now, now we got the biggest crowd we've ever had. In yeah, America. man, I'm really excited about seeing people here watching you talking. You know? <laughs> You'll be fine. We'll have a good time. We'll have a good time with this. Last year was a little bit of a struggle for you guys. You didn't have a, a, a great record. What happened last season? Um, I'd say we had uh, we have a really good team. We had a really good team last year. We start up not in the best way. You know, we had something in mind, and we tried to work it out. It didn't work out really well in the beginning. We had some players getting injured and stuff, but we were always working really hard towards our goal. That was like improve every game since the beginning of the season. We said improve every game, and I thought like towards the end of the season we got the best of our team playing. So we got better. We got better results. We got like a four or five straight victory, mm -hmm. and. You know, it's just learning and do improve for next season. So I think we're going to be ready for next season. That's fantastic. And I know as a coach, and there are all these here as a coach, you know things don't always work your way, but as long as you're working hard, you can push through a lot of things and you're going to get better. Um, what is your schedule? I know you, you, you had the fall schedule. Do you guys practice in the spring, or how does this how does this work out for you guys? Yeah, we uh, we practice a bit. Um, we have, uh, I guess, NCAA allows us to have 25 official practices. Um, so they've uh, kind of coordinated with us with our class schedules and, okay. and set those out. I think we started on the, the 15th of February, and then we go to about the 10th of April. Okay, so it's pretty good, pretty good uh, uh, regimen that you're going to have. Yeah. Here. Now, you, you talked about you guys improved all year long. You, you got better. You think you guys ended on a high note. Uh, what, is, what are you focusing on in those, probably those 25 practices here in the offseason to be prepared for next season? You know, like um, right now we are down a couple of players because, you know, some people graduated and stuff. But we are just looking for, like, we have a goal that every time we come to practice and we're going to improve, we're going to possess the ball. And we keep that so whenever we get this other new players next year, mm -hmm. we can, you know, have a system set up that they can be, it can be more easier to then just to come and uh, right away just fit, fit on our program. Mm -hmm. So we don't waste that much time in like practicing and stuff. So we know what you, what we got to do next season, you know. Of course. Now I know you're a junior, senior, or senior. Excuse yeah. me. Excuse me. So rising senior. Yeah, I'll be a junior in the field. Well, yeah, you're rising senior. Yeah. You'll be a, a, a junior for next season, but yes. for this year. So I was correct. <laughs> no, no. Um, are, are you a younger team? Do you have a lot of graduating people? Where, where do you stand with that aspect? Um, I think I think we're probably right in the middle of the pack. I think okay. we'll have six or seven seniors. Um, but then a good amount of uh, juniors, and then I'm pretty sure we have a, a pretty sizable freshman class coming. And that's kind of what you want. Because yeah, you have yeah. A good senior leadership, and then you're going to be able to tr teach the younger players. What is your role? Is you're going to be a senior? You're going to be a junior? What do, What do you see your roles for next year, Matt? Um, you know, really just trying to you know show the guys that come in, you know, that we're all about working hard. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the number one thing. Um, and really just being, you know, a good leader on and off the field, you know, showing them what it's, what it's about being a college athlete. Of course. And what about you, Felipe? You know, like, um, every season for me, my goal is to improve, like, to get better and, you know, like, score, like, do my job better, score more goals than I did last season. So I think as a junior, I'll be having, like, a more leadership part on the team as, that I had this year because I was a transfer. I just got into school last fall. So, like, I would... I'll be more comfortable with knowing everybody and knowing the new players and teach them how the program works and what they need to do. So I feel like I'll have a, a better spot of leadership towards the team, you know. So this was your first year at Queen's University. Sure, and you were yeah. third, third team all conference. Yes. Uh, congratulations. That's very nice. Well, Appreciate it, man. How, how were you able to integrate yourself into the team that quickly, it being your first year? Yeah, you know, it was really like easier for me because I got here, I got all the support from all the coaching, the staff, all the players, you know, like I actually, I found my place here, I love playing here. And it was really easier for me because like they told me like what's, how's the team play, that's what we need to do. And just became really easier when you get the support of everybody, got confidence, coaches giving you confidence every game, you go ahead and you do your thing. So it was just much easier for me than, you know, if they didn't let me do what I need, to, what I know how to do. Of course. And you come from Brazil. Yes. How did you come to Queen's University from Brazil? How did you find your way here? Um, I actually um, got um, videos and sent off from, to some coaches around the U.S. and I ended up going to Winthrop University mm -hmm. in South Carolina. Yes. And I played there for two years and then um, 
you know, Char I love Charlotte, and I didn't want to leave Charlotte at all, and I heard about Queens and how good the school is and how good the program was, and like, I need to, I need to go there, and I heard about um, the coaching, the new coach that they got, and you know, like a Spanish coach seemed like a lot close to me, so I really was contacting, and you know, I want to go there, and everything worked out well. So it seems like things here. are going very well. And I know they're very happy to have you here. And Matt, I know you were a conference all academic. Yeah. So that could not have been easy to do. So I, uh, in all my quite. time in college, I never was a conference <laughs> academic. So what? Was it was it difficult during the season to maintain it, or does that make it easier for you because it's more regimented? Um, a little bit of both. Um, definitely during the season there's less free time. So since there's less free time, there's really less time to slack off. So you know I'm more focused on on my studies and stuff. But then at the same time, it's you know getting back from away games. You know midnight, one in the morning, waking up and going to class at nine. That's tough. But you know I mean it really just comes down to hard work and just commitment. You know to uh, to hitting the books. Of course. Now and you're studying what? Uh, math. math. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, uh, I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what, what are you planning on doing with that once you graduate? Um, well, after I graduate, I want to um, join the Peace Corps okay. and uh, possibly teach uh, English and math in a French-speaking West African country. Um, and then when I get back, I actually just uh, want to get my doctorate and be a college math professor. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. Um, and I know Ollie, we've talked about him. He's sitting right up here watching us. Uh, he was in the Hall of Fame here at Queen's University. Very, very storied uh, uh, history that he's had by playing here. What, what do you learn from all? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's actually a pressure for us because you know, like we came in every practice to every day to practice, and we see like right when you get in the building, you see that his picture right there, you know, and you see like, like, I, I need to be there, you know, like, and his pressure every day, like, he knows what he's talking about. So whenever he says you, you gotta do this way, you gotta do this. Like, I can't say anything, you know, he scored so many goals, so many assists, got conference, um, All-American and all stuff. It's not because he's right there, because <laughs> <laughs> he's staring at me, but, you know, like, it's, uh, it's just, I need to learn with him, and, you know, hopefully one day I can be on the same spot as he, why not? Well, it seems like you're, you're, you're heading in the right direction with, with your start here so far, but what has he taught you from his experiences that, 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 that you think has been the most important for you? You know, like, um, as it happened with me, he's, he came from uh, some other country. Mm -hmm. He's from Guatemala. So, like, he knows that the game here is really different. Mm -hmm. we, I had so many problems since when I came here. Like, you know, the game is really different here. So he has told me, like, this is how it works here. You know, if you do this, it would work in, back in Brazil, but here it might not work. So you got to be, like, you know, you got to have a better fitness so you can be the American kind of player that they need. You know, but the most important thing that he taught me for sure that I didn't let me have in my last school is like, uh, no matter what, you can't lose the way you play. If the way you play is the thing that you have different, so keep doing your thing and it's gonna work out no matter what. So that's, I think, the most important thing that he had taught me. Good advice, so good. What about you, Matt? Uh, just a little bit, you know, what he said and then also, you know, that just, you know, you go out and you work hard, you know, and, and good things will happen. And if you have confidence in, your, in yourself and in your teammates, then, you know, the sky's the limit for the team. I don't know. Coach, Coach Ollie's been here for two years as a head coach and as an assistant coach. What have you seen different since he's been able to take over the helm? Um, well, you know, when he was assistant, he used to do uh, goalkeeper training, and uh, I used to get scored on at a alarmingly regular basis <laughs> back in those days. So uh, thankfully, that's you know, uh, that's kind of stopped. But um, just you know, he's been obviously going from assistant to head coach. He's just been more vocal. You know, practices are are really organized now. You know, and they take care of us. You know, with a nice equipment and I mean it just really just does a great job. That's fantastic. Now we, we've talked about the things that you are working on in the off season um, but we got to when, when do you start up practice for, for the fall semester? Uh, we start last season we start pre preseason like captain's yeah, week on August 5th and then like one week later so around August 14th. So you're here before all the other students come mm, into, yeah. yes. into school. What's your strengths for next season? What's your weaknesses for next season that you're going to be working on? Um, I think we we need to work on our or better or best thing that we have in the team is that we know how to possess the ball. We have so many great players that can pass the ball around and can you know do all, like amazing things. And I think that's what we have as a team. And like everyone knows each other, we know how we need to play. And that's I think that's going to be our best thing. Uh, so our weakness, um, I would say like we are having a lot of problems like with talking during the field on the field. Mm -hmm. 
So if we can work it out and the players that come in help us out and do a good job, I extremely think that we can do much, much better than we did this year, and I'm sure we would do. Um, I, I guess just to finish up, what are your, I guess, individual and as a team, what are your expectations for um, next season? Uh, as a team, of course, we always got to think high. You know, like, if you say, I want to be a national champion, some people can say, oh, you're dreaming, but, you know, I need to dream about it. It's of my course, goal. Yeah. If I don't have a goal in my career, I won't reach anything else. So I think as a team, we need to think high, and it's there. We need to be national champions no matter what. We, we have a good team. We can do it. We have all the support, all the staffs, and everything here, you know. We can do it. And as personal, you know, like, it's not as important as if I don't get my team goal. It doesn't matter if I got the personal goals. But since you asked, I think um, I need to score more goals than I did this year and get more assists because I know I can do it and, you know, get at least first team all conference next year would be my goal. Well, good luck with next year. I know you're going to be putting a lot of hard work on in that soft season. We look forward to seeing what you guys can do. I believe you guys are moving in the right direction. Thank you very Appreciate much it. for joining us today. And thank you for joining us as well. And we'll see you next time right here on Royal Points.